Morning, morning, everybody. Michelle is here. Michelle is here on this. Let's see what it's uh July the twenty fifth. It's on a Thursday. Wow, Thursday. And uh, I just wanted to come on through and say, um, uh, I've been busy doing little things around the house, a little, you know, just doing this and that and the other, keeping myself efficient. And, you know, when you keep yourself efficient, you can get a whole lot more things done because you don't have other things clouding your, you know, blocking your vision or interfering with your path or interfering with your journey. So I'm doing that kind of thing, clearing out things. And most importantly, when you're clearing out things that are external in your life, make sure you clear out things that are internal in your life. A lot of people are suffering the consequences of not paying attention to the signs and not paying attention to information given to them to warn them about these, these, these coming times and these moments. We all get some type of warning in some way, fashion or form about what's going on in our lives. And a lot of people just want to, you know, take on things as if they know what they're taking on and not realizing how important it is to be grounded in reality and not hallucinating, being delusional, uh, living like being childlike uh, or childish, I should say, immature. You know, you believe in fairy tales you believe in uh, supernatural, you know, all those things cloud your mind and make it next to impossible for you to find the truth, number one. And number two, it makes it almost impossible for you to be considering yourself a human being, a human being in the true sense. So while you're working on the outside of your life, getting your outside and lives in, in order, make sure you work on the inside. That's where it has to start. If you're going around believing things that you know do not exist, be kind and gentle with yourself and and see if you can release that from your consciousness. If you need someone to help you, like myself, I can help you and guide you. We cannot uh, allow our lives to be in such turmoil as they are and how things are going to be unraveling in the future. A lot of us are not going to make it. And what do I mean by make it? Well, you're not going to make it, not necessarily physically, but in your consciousness. You're going to be in a consciousness um, vortex, just swimming over and over, spinning over and over and over and over and over again for the rest of your existence. So, Work on yourself. Have fun with working on yourself. Ask for help if you need someone to help you. Okay? No one has to know what you're doing in your life. I know a lot of people share stuff all over social media, but a lot of it is not true. Did anybody pick that up by now? A lot of that stuff is uh, sensationalism. It's just to build a, a list. It is to build uh, followers. And a lot of us are being taken advantage of our kindness and our generosity, especially when it comes to materialism, you know. So work on yourself. Ask for help. Do not attempt to do this alone unless you have the skills and abilities to do so. Because if you are delusional and hallucinating and you attempt to come out of your delusion and your hallucination, Chances are you're just going to be burying yourself even further and further and further without assistance and guidance of, from someone like myself and others that are out there to help. So I got a lot on my plate today. Uh, I want to go ahead and handle my business. But I want to go ahead once again and keep force, or reinforcing this. It's about universal love. No matter what's going on in our world, it's about universal love and being truthful and being honest, and being grounded in your reality. I want to send peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains. And trust me, I will be back.